Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. I've decided to do a few more Surge videos due to the request of some of our subscribers. So what we're going to do is uh, focus on simplifying Surge to begin with. So uh, I'm assuming that you guys have seen my first Surge video before coming to this video. So I'm going to go a little bit quicker. So basically if we have a square root of a big number, let's say 20, the process of simplifying just means we want to we want to rewrite this third so that the number inside the square root is as small as possible. You're going to think of two numbers that multiply together to give you 20 and in this case I'm going to use 4 times 5. Now the reason why I'm going to use 4 is because 4 is a square number. Now uh, I can then utilize the rule square root of a times square root of b equals square root of a b so I can separate these two numbers out into separate thirds and if you have seen my first thirds video you'll understand the reasoning behind this rule and then the square root of 4 is just equal to 2 so I can cross this out and change it to 2 times the square root of 5 so that is successfully simplified and you can see that the number inside which is 5 cannot be simplified any further because you can't think of two numbers that multiply together to give you 5 where one of the numbers is a square number it's impossible okay so let's try to simplify the square root of 175 so see if you can do that come back when you're done Okay, so the two numbers that I have thought of are uh, 25 times 7 is 175. And then what I'm going to do is separate them out into two numbers. So square root of 25 times square root of 7. And then the square root of 25 is 5. So this is equal to 5 times the square root of 7. Okay, let's do the next example. So we have simplify 4 times the square root of 360. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to firstly rewrite the number inside the square root sign as 36 times 10. And I'm going to break it up into two thirds two thirds so square root of 36 times square root of 10 the square root of 36 is equal to 6 so I rewrite that as 4 times uh, 6 times square root of 10 and then I am actually I should write a 6 there okay and then I can rewrite this as uh, 24 times square root of 10 and there's no way that I can simplify the number 10 any smaller because I can't think of two numbers that multiply to give you 10 where 1 is a square number. Okay, so using the same principles, I want you to try and simplify 7 times the square root of 490. Okay, so have a go and come back when you're done. Okay, so to do this question, again, I'm going to rewrite the uh, numbers inside the square root sign as 49 times 10. And then I break it down into two square roots. And then I rewrite the 49 as so square root of 49 as 7 so then the answer is 49 times square root of 10 so there's your answer okay let's try a next problem 
So in this question, I have inserted some algebra inside the third, inside the square root sign, and uh, we're going to do this one together. So firstly, what we're going to do is split this third up into uh, 20 times, uh, sorry, 4 times 5. And I'm also going to split up the uh, x to the power of 5 into uh, two pronumerals, two variables, where, uh, so I have to think of two numbers that add together to give you 5. Now, uh, one of the numbers has to be uh, an even number. So, because we're screw ro square rooting a power so I'm just gonna make it screwed up, I mean uh, 4 plus 1 so I have x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 1 is x to the power of 5 so here what I have is I can uh, split up the third into uh, two thirds so I have 4 times square root of 4 inside the first one and 5 times x inside the second one right because remember that you can um, change the order of the terms when you're multiplying so I have moved the 4 and the x to the power of 4 in front I've moved the 5 to the back so and then I split up the square root sign into two square roots using that first third rule okay so now uh, that first third again I can break it up into square root of 4 times square root of x to the power of 4 and uh, times the square root of 5x okay so now square root of 4 is equal to 2 so I can cross that out change it to 2 and then the square root of x to the power of 4 so remember when we said that a square root sign means the same thing as to the power of a half so if we have the square root of x to the power of 4 what that means is x to the power of 4 to the power of a half and hopefully you guys would have already seen the indices video so then I have 4 times a half so that is x to the power of 4 times a half which is x to the power of 2 so then I have 2x to the power of 2 times the square root of 5x so you can just write it as 2x to the power of 2 by the square root of 5x so you can write it like that okay so uh, the next thing that you guys can work on so I'll give you guys a problem like this one so this is a slightly harder problem have a go at it come back when you're done okay so what we're going to do is uh, firstly split up the third on the inside uh, using um, some factors where some of the factors are square numbers so I'm going to uh, change the 72 into 36 times 2 right because 36 is a square number so I can rewrite the 36 later into uh, square root of 36 which is 6 okay and then the x cubed I can rewrite it as x squared times x right, because half of x squared is x and then I can rewrite the y to the power of 7 as y to the power of 6 times uh, y to the power of 1 okay now let's uh, break up the third so I have x to the power x over 5 times the square root of 
36 uh, times the square root of x squared times the square root of y to the power of 6 times the square root of so what do I have left I got rid of this got rid of this got rid of this so I have 2xy remaining okay and now I can rewrite the square root of 36 as 6 rewrite the x squared square root as x and rewrite the y to the power of 6 square root as y to the power of 3 times square root of 2xy now I can simplify this part here by using some simple algebra so this then uh, changes into 6x squared y cubed oops over 5 times the square root of 2xy and you don't need to write the um, time symbol so to rewrite all of this it's just 6x squared y cubed square root of 2xy uh, over 5 all right okay so hope you guys learned something from this tutorial see you guys next time